Hi, this is Mike with Porzak Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. Today we're going to take you inside a lesson with a really good player, Brian. We're going to talk a lot about the right arm structure and how that's going to help Brian not only connect his backswing, but set the path for the least amount of manipulation down to the golf ball. We're also going to talk about a couple other drills that are really going to help create connection not only through the backswing, but also through the impact zone. Finally, we're going to go to the putting green where we're going to see one of the best drills we have to allow the putter to work more with the center of our body and eliminate that extra hand movement that everybody sees. We appreciate you guys coming to watch. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So this guy's got a really great story. He was a professional, right, for a while, playing down um, a lot of Golden State tours, a lot of local mini tours and stuff, some Mondays. And, you know, I don't know, just thought, what, wasn't, wasn't maybe for you? Yeah. Right? Um, and got, decided to get his amateur status back. And the process of going through that, right, I mean, you got to send a whole letter into the USGA, you got to send them all your tournament results, and then they tell you the amount of time you have to wait. And what was it, like 18 months or something? Yeah normally about the minimum um, so we finally surpassed that and now we're good to go we're playing our first amateur event in since you were in college yeah right Five years. so that's awesome but i think that's particularly cool because like to me there's nothing better than high quality amateur golf you know and this is a guy here who i know we're going to see you in the u.s mid-am i hope it's this year right i want you to make sure you yeah. stay on top of those um, qualifiers because like dude usga events <laughs> Mid-Am for you is just perfect, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, Cal State Am going to play places like Pebble and Spanish, um, SCGA Am going to play great courses. So I think that's a lot of fun being able to do that. And then, you know, you're not, you're not living, living putt to putt, right? You're able to enjoy the game maybe a little bit more. So, um, and how is school going? It's good. Yeah? Got another year to go. Another year to go? So. Are you teaching right now or no? No. No, you're just going to school to teach? Yep. Sweet. Perfect. So um, tell me about the game. Uh, what do we got to work on today? What do you feel like you need to make sure we have in place for this week? Honestly, it's been up until like two weeks ago, the game was as good as it's ever been. I mean, well, I'll tell you what, the swing you sent me yesterday was as good as I've seen from you out of the box in a while. Yeah. Okay. Just playing really well, not hitting any balls, just playing a bunch. Beautiful. And then got a little squirrely the last like, two weeks or so. Okay. And what did squirrely look like? Uh... So with the golf ball, right? With the golf, golf ball, ball, what did it look like? Kind of left, kind of creeping back in a little bit. Yeah. Which wedges a little, kind of like sticking in the ground a little bit. Sticking in the ground, perfect. Yeah. Um, and tell me this, when you were playing really good, what was the shot shape you were playing? Cuts. Cuts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's get you loosened up, dude. Let's get some swings and let's get after it. You were putting over there as you were warming up. Was rock rolling good? Uh, no. No. Okay. So we got to check that. that. Okay, so we'll get that dialed in. Um, dude, so like, really, really good. Let's come back and take a look at it. I'm going to put the screen record on for you, Gabe. Um, like I said, I mean, some of the best lines and some of the best stuff that you've come in with yet, okay? But we do see, you know, a little inconsistency in some of these strikes of these wedges, right? A couple come out thin, a little, a little, a couple come out a little bit over compressed, right? But let's just go from the get-go and really take a look at what's going on here. <clears throat> so, setup-wise, Really pretty darn good. I mean, we're going to take a look at the shoulders, making sure they get past the toes. Beautiful. Hands are under your shoulders. Okay. Um, the hips may be a hair back, right? Making sure we stay over that golf ball a little bit will help. Um, face on. Setting up behind it, dude. Just check how the anchor point and the turn is. Yeah. I mean, the turn is good. The setup is good. Here's what I think happens with you a little bit is I think it really comes down to a lot of this right shoulder right at this point here in the swing, 
right? And that right shoulder creeping a little bit more up and internally rotating. And then what that's gonna lead to is your body turn stopping and your arms getting steep, yeah. right? And continuing to move. Especially with my longer stuff, I can Dude, feel it, like get back there and then I just like, And you kind of lose it a little bit, right? And what we're really gonna work on today is making sure that number one, we get that feeling of, okay, at a dress, we're gonna try to preset a little bit of that internal rotation of the shoulder, right? I'm gonna to start to have you feel this and this right funny bone a little bit more in and how we can turn and what it's gonna look like for you is it's gonna look like the right shoulders you turn back is softer versus a sharper angle here, right? Because that sharper angle is what's gonna to lead to the left arm getting, you know, this is a real short wedge swing, but the left arm getting a little bit above the plane even there and the club getting maybe a little bit of a laid off look. All right, um, that little lift is what then creates a timing issue on the way down, yeah. right? And the second that we get our right arm more in front of our body on the backswing, right? It's gonna feel like your right arm is a little bit closer together with your left. Um, the second we get that, you're gonna be able to just turn through the golf ball and have every one of these start out pretty much dead on line and be pretty compressed, right? There's not gonna be up, oh, boom, and then there's the timing issue. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's get in there. Let's just make sure we stay over the golf ball with our hips. We're gonna work on a couple things here. Let's get a different club. Let's get a, um, like a nine iron out, okay? And here's what we're gonna do first, okay? First, we're just gonna talk about this right arm and this trail arm, because I do think that's gonna solve a ton of problems. Um, stand up straight, right? Put the arms down there, good. And then we're just gonna try to turn these elbows in like this and then put them closer in front of you, okay? So this is basically gonna be kind of your max range that you can externally rotate the shoulder. What I want you to do now is turn to the top and maintain that. Boom, right? That feels so different, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead back down again. Boom, and turning that guy up there, right? And you're feeling this thing much, much, much softer, much more in. So now we're gonna get up here, we're gonna set up, and we're gonna do kind of a little bit of the, um, the, the Charles Schwartzel or the Louis Oosthausen where they would just let their arm drop, internally rotate their shoulder like that, and then place their hand on the club. And now our goal is really to feel this right arm just get turned to the top of the swing, right? Not feeling that right arm hike up and disconnect. So show me a couple of those. Just practice swings right now. Good, let that arm hang at a dress. Feel like you're giving blood. Really try to get a little bit more of it good. And now try to get the hand back on the club, okay? And really just turn that same thing up there. Dude, so different right there. Awesome. A couple more practice swings like that and we'll hit a couple like that. Oh. There you go. Good, get the hand back on there, keep that shoulder like that, and then just turn your body up there, boom. So good. Awesome, I'm just gonna take a look at that before we even hit any, right? We're gonna see a big, big difference here. Club's still setting beautifully right up in front of your hands, right onto your right forearm, right? Beautiful. But look at right there, even, how much softer that right arm is than where it was earlier today. Right there. And softer right shoulder really is what it is. Okay, this one hunched up a little bit more on its way to kind of lifting and getting the club a little bit more laid off. Look at your right shoulder we see there. Okay, this one, the shoulder is much more down. Look at how we cover up that right shoulder and we get the club going a lot more down the line, okay? Again, this is gonna be what, what really defines connection for you of the arms and body and allows you just to not have any timing issues and just turn through the golf ball. You know what I mean? Um, this is also what's gonna lead to your ability to now, by just turning through, have the shaft come down a little bit more shallow, right? Anytime the arms lift up above the body and then we rotate, that's where that little steepening motion comes, right? And that's where those little pulls come from. Did it hit one? Yeah, dude, absolutely. Get in there, feel that right arm, kind of really, you know, externally rotate that shoulder, get the grip back on, and really try to just use the right side of your body to move that arm up to the top. Good, better start line. 
Good, beautiful. Good, turn it up there. Nice. Little right to left wind here, okay? So those are probably very straight golf balls right there, I would expect. Hmm, how'd that feel? Way better. Way better, right? Good, a couple more and then I'm gonna pull you over here to look at this. What'd you feel on that? So first one coming up, right, again, great club. Shoulder just getting high and the arm starting to lift and that shoulder getting wide, or that elbow getting wide, right? Our goal, just to really keep it much more together with our body right there, it's so much lower and more in, mm -hmm. okay? And then again, our job, just continuing to turn up there, right? Much, much better here with the left arm and the club just right in line versus this one, especially with a longer club, is gonna get a little more laid off as the club gets longer. Right, down swing, pretty darn good right there, okay? And now, you know, one thing I want you to know is, you know, this down swing here is really, when we're getting right on top of the right forearm like that, that's perfect for the cut, right? I mean, that's where Tiger and DJ and those guys that, plays, that play cuts constantly, right, and religiously are. They're always coming down just on top of the right forearm right there, and then boom, that club base stays open and that ball leaves dead on line and just drops a couple yards right, yeah. okay? And so you're in a great place to be doing that, and you know, we don't need to work it too much more underneath than that. I would think that when you say that you started to lose control of this shot with this swing, it was the disconnection of the arms and the elbow that then causes you to lose the club face because your club is still coming down well, but then it's behind your body, so you've got to try to make it catch up, and we probably just have the face closed a little bit, and boom, there's left. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So let's do a couple more of these. I've mean, been hitting it good, but I've just been pulling a little bit, and I said, well, what shot do you trying to hit there? And they say, well, you know, a little bit of a cut, and I say, okay, well, you know, a pull is perfect if the uh, a pull is going to be a perfect shot if the club face is one or two degrees more open. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then you're starting that ball just right on your target. It's dropping right, and there's your there's your shot. But for you today, a lot about your right arm, your right elbow. We'll talk about a couple more drills that might be able to help that. So good right there, dude. Let's go up there and pause. Go up there and pause like that. Boom, perfect, and then right through. And again, that's gonna be a fantastic drill for you right there too, okay? Just for us to complete the backswing. As you're getting into competition, nothing more important than that, right? A good tempo, okay? Good. You know, I think this is actually perfect for you to work on it this way. Because we're talking about a change, a pretty big kind of structural change for you, right, in this arm. We're going to have to work on that, right? But the fact that we also are talking about the completion of the backswing and keeping the arms and body together, okay? I mean, it makes nothing but perfect sense for you to be getting up here, getting in that good setup. All right, so I got my right arm is more internal here. Excellent. I'm going to turn this up to the top here. Feel this. Good. I'm going to wait and then I'm gonna go through, right? And it's really gonna help the ability for you to not have the old move of the arm still going up and then the body going in front, right? And that's where you would lose the club face, I think, you know, because the plane of the club is not bad. It's coming right down to the golf ball. So let's do some pause drills here to really feel yourself, keep everything moving together. Good, turn it up there, pause, feel it, boom. Good. And for you, like, this is a drill that should be hard at first, yeah. right? For people who the arms get disconnected, the club and arms keep going, and the body starts to unwind, it's really tough. You know, it takes a minute for them to get, okay, feel it, feel strong, boom, everything together. So I always say that because the drill is hard actually means it's a good drill for you. Good, turn it up there, hold it, boom, excellent. Oh yeah, so money right there. Yeah. You feel that? Yeah. What does that feel like to you? It's way more solid and just kind of like the arm just fell down from there. Yeah, they just, and them falling down are just 
staying with your body, right? It's a lot harder though for them to fall when your elbow's up here and your body's already going. Right, and that's what was happening before. That's why I think this is just such a good little combination for you to work the right arm getting better and to work it in a full motion swing where you get to that position right there. Look at the club right down the line. It's even better than before. See so, you know, it's just a little bit right of that line. Perfect. And let's see how this down swing looks. Oh, again, beautiful. Look at how the arms and the head now are together, right? Yeah where you would get pulls, those arms were going and you were already making the move that way, right? And then the shaft, you know, it's less of probably to me the shaft getting too steep, but more of the shaft being like it is here and the club face being closed because it's behind, you know? Good. Yeah, I mean, everything is just so much more together going down and through, you know, way more solid. And again, like I said, let's just keep the face a little bit more open through the golf ball and watch that pull turn into a perfect little cut shot right at the flag, okay? Good, pause it there and move forward through the golf ball. Yes, there you go, feel that? So when we get you making a really nice pause, here's one of the first things of the day, right? Granite shorter club, but still you can see much deeper turn here, right? Look at that no right and right shoulder showing there. Again, partially because it's just turned a little bit more, that one's kind of up and more visual. But watch this, when the arms are continuing up without the body and then you start down, watch your head, how it's more down, right? And almost a little back, okay? Watch these and watch how, look at that moving a little bit more in and into the golf ball and into the left side. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna allow you just to kind of rotate through that a little bit more versus before and, and a move we've seen from you a lot, right, is kind of down to the back foot. So, all right, we got our right arm, boom. We're going to the top, we're, we're keeping it here, excellent. And now I'm gonna work forward and through into that golf ball with everything, right? Using my core to really just move the arms and the body ahead versus what would happen before that and then a little bit of that you know what i mean so up to the top pause it and boom move forward turn around the front foot we'll get something longer here in a sec good awesome mm. what'd that feel like Pretty good. yeah does it feel like you're getting a little bit more into that front foot, yeah. right? Yeah. Hmm. So nice. So nice. One more with that, we'll get a, something longer, okay? Um, you know Coronado pretty well though, right? Yeah, because that was like the high school or something? Was that? Yeah. Sweet. It's funny, like I never played well there until I turned 24. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a, it's a good risk reward course. You know, it's a shorter course that you can definitely score on, but you have to be patient in a couple holes and a couple shots that really yeah. take your attention. You know what I mean? And you have to be kind of just making sure you're always looking sort of one step ahead on four, four or five shots out there, you know? Good, feeling that right arm, boom. Turning it up there, pausing, and then just working into it and forward through that golf shot. Good, what did you feel there? Did the arm stay behind at all there, or did you feel like everything moved together? I felt like it moved together. Okay, well. good. Let's get, uh, let's get like a seven or a six. You are a uh, uh, striker of this golf ball, and wait till you see this driver. <laughs> Good, really good in the setup over the golf ball, love it. Good, and make sure, let's make sure that as we go to that top, okay, and this is what I'm always looking for in this drill with everybody is I'm really focusing just on when the club stops moving at the top of my swing. 
right? Zero bounce, zero extra movement, okay? For players like you and players that have a hard time with this drill, you're always going to see the same thing, right? A little bit of a bounce of the club. And all that means is that the arms were taking it away a little bit more than the core and the body, okay? So as you're doing these, let's put a little thought into just making sure that that club stops as smoothly as possible. And then we get through it, you know what I mean? feeling like you're literally almost doing a sit-up over that golf ball, right? The arms are soft, the core is tight. That's how you get that to turn up there and be very still and quiet versus a bounce. If the core is soft and the arms are tight, it'll bounce every time. Good. Wow. I mean, dude, a million times better right there. And again, you know, going into tournament play, all that is is tempo and rhythm. Yeah. You know, one of the most important things and one of the things that fall apart as we get back into competition is we want to get quick. You know, the arms will want to go fast, the body's going to want to be in front. I so, well, I don't notice because I'm not, I don't get to see it, but when I'm playing well, other people comment that I like pause. That you pause up there, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, you know. Um, awesome, awesome. One, one or two more here. Hmm. Dude, so good, isn't it? I mean, can we just get you to Nantucket this year, please? <laughs> can they please have a mid-am this year? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at how pure this is. Up to the top once for me. Hold it up there, right? And as we're coming down, we're feeling that same drive there, right? Boom, absolutely. You can pump that a couple times. Get up there and kind of feel yourself again. Just use the core and move that elbow back down in there in front of the body. Yes, dude, awesome right there. Good. Let's see if we can take it to um, some more fluid swings now, right? More kind of regular speed. Give me a full practice swing first, right? We've been pausing a lot up there. You just want to make sure you're giving yourself the best chance for success at a dry run. Boom. Yeah, excellent. So we want to get up there, feel that little pause, and then drive everything through together. Um, I want to see this. I want to have you put this under your left arm and take some swings, okay? It can come out after um, you hit the golf ball, right? The goal for me right here is just to keep the arms with the body more as you turn and not allow them to kind of fall behind. When I say incomplete backswing, I mean that arms got up there and body went really quick, you know? We keep this connection. This should be um, a lot more solid. Good, let's hit some more of those. Thanks for watching the video with Brian. We hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about how the right arm works in the golf swing and some fantastic putting drills that can help you improve today. Please click the link in the description box to get three more videos that are gonna help you play your best golf. Thanks for watching. As always, leave any questions or comments down below.